All right, I'm Michael Bream. And I'm Matt Haber. We're from EV West and it's Friday, so we're gonna have a little bit of fun today. What we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna show you what some high voltage uh, systems do to some standard car fuses. Uh, there's a lot of um, kind of unknowns as far as you know how powerful the high voltage systems are in electric vehicles. So we're just gonna do a little demonstration for you today. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna set up a, uh, a high voltage contactor over here. We're gonna run approximately 250 volts DC through your standard 12 volt fuse holder. Uh, we see a lot of this in electric car installations. People mm -hmm. are using these, you know, fuse holders made for 12 volts. Right. I don't think they realize how dangerous it really is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna short circuit. It's got a regular 25 amp fuse in this and in a 12 volt system, it would just pop and you'd replace it and it would be fine. Right. Um, with 250 volts DC, it's a little different. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and show you what that does. And uh, after that, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We brought out, uh, what? Watermelons, hot dogs, various household apple. items to kind of show you what uh, some of the voltage stuff can do. So yeah. we're going to start. We're going to go ahead and um, put 250 volts to this fuse. We're going to short circuit it and yeah. we're just going to kind of work our way from there and have fun on a Friday. Yeah. All right, let's start the show. That's good. Three, two. All right, so. As you can see, it was a small plasma ball. Uh, the contactors in here are completely melted. The fuse holder is worthless, and uh, the wire even melted the insulation a little bit here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop off another 12 volt fuse, then we're gonna start going up to some other items. Let's check it out. Three, two. Well, our big fuse, fared no better, obviously. Kind of reminds me of those old movies with the old flash bulbs where it was like uh, gunpowder or something that just blows up. Uh, but yeah, this is toast. Uh, we're gonna keep on going up. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna try a hot dog next, simulate some human flesh. This might be scary. We've never done this before, so we have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, let's, see what, let's see what happens. And three, two, all right, well, that was a little disappointing. We thought that the hot dog would simulate human flesh and we kind of thought we'd have a little small explosion, uh, but nothing. It must be a high impedance hot dog, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna play around with some uh, household items. We're gonna light a bulb, see what happens with 250 volts. And three, two. All right, well, the standard incandescent bulb was a little boring. I think it's because the filament's so small, it just uh, broke and we lost conductivity. So. Uh, we're going to try a gas-filled bulb. We're going to use your uh, common CFL, compact fluorescent light. Let's see what happens with that. In three, two. Oh, well. Now this is odd. We uh, expected a small explosion. We didn't expect this. Uh, the bulb lit up. So I guess we can run compact fluorescent bulbs off of 250 DC. I don't know, maybe in the back of your conversion, you want some nice fluorescent mood lighting, something like that. Uh, go ahead and use a CFL. Let's move on to the next item. Well, the hot dog didn't do much, so we're gonna go back and play with uh, some fruits now. We're gonna try your common orange, see what happens. In three, two. Well, you know, we, we, like I said, we haven't tried any of this before. We were a little surprised. We thought we were gonna make some orange juice, but uh, I think we just have a, a slightly above room temperature orange. Let's try something else. All right, well, at this point of the video, we, we honestly thought we'd have food everywhere. Um, and the food's been a little boring. It, it seems like the metallic stuff's worked real well, the fuses, we got some nice little explosions. Um, so this is uh, our Gallagher moment. We're gonna try and blow up a watermelon. I thought that it would be a bigger explosion. We're gonna plug this thing in, see if we can get it to do anything at all. Let's check it out. In three, two. All right, well, the uh, orange was a dud, the hot dog was a dud, the watermelon a dud. Seems like the only thing that was exciting was the metallic stuff, so we're gonna play with tinfoil. Player in three, two. All right, there you have it. You know, some things were a little more exciting than we thought and some things were actually kind of boring. Uh, what we really wanted to point out is, you know, how dangerous these 12 volt connectors are. Even if you have a low amperage fuse, if you're hooking them up to a high voltage circuit, it's extremely dangerous. Uh, until next time, we'll find some more stuff to uh, electrify. I'm Michael Bream with EV West. 
and we'll see you soon.